of Procreations, everybody. Uh, today we're actually working on a Seth Thomas pendulum clock that we picked up at a swap meet. Um, it has a broken spring on the clock side. The spring that makes the little chime sound is actually working perfectly fine. So today I'm going to tear into it, see if there's anything going on with that clock spring and you're squirming around a lot. Today I'm going to tear into it because the clock spring that runs the actual clock seems to have broken. I want to measure it up and order a new one if possible. I found a website that I might be able to do that from and I'll put the link down in the description below. Uh, so let's get to it. All right, so I already removed the pendulum. Ooh, you can see me in there. Look at that. Hello there. And uh, the fascia screws on the front here. There are five screws that hold this face in place. So today we're actually going to pull it apart and get into that clock spring and see why it's broken or what size it is so I can get another one. Hello! from the clock itself. So, there we go. It's a safe place. And as you can tell there are a lot of gears and everything in here. There are four nuts that hold the whole face on. I removed those previously because it is something I didn't want to struggle with on camera. And I'm still struggling to get that off. Alright, so place. We'll actually start to figure out what makes this thing tick. So the first thing I'm going to do is swivel this up out of the way. Now, I removed all tension on both springs by pulling down on these detents here and the pressure. So, now I have to figure out exactly how this front face comes off, which I believe it was held on by those four nuts. And it looks like there's still things in my home in place. I hope that I don't completely destroy this thing in the process. But, uh, let's figure it out. Now, let me see. I can get this drum out of here without any kind of major surgery in this clock. Because everything else works perfectly fine. Evidently this is going to be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So, this is the center pin and this is supposed to be locked on a piece of the spring, I believe, which might be in the center of that drum. So let's get the drum out and we'll open it up and take a look. Oh, piece of friggin' cake. Now, the fun thing is going to be opening this. So, off camera, I went and pried away a little bit at this cover. Ooh, pried, away, bleh, 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 pried away a little bit at this cover in order to see what's going on with this spring. So, it does seem like there's a snapped spot and had some moisture in it at one point. So, I will have to get measurements off of this and order another one. Thanks for hanging out through the whole video. This is the Seth Thomas clock fix, I guess. So we're leaving it off with the broken spring 
in the clock side, taking that out and putting the actual chime spring on the clock side so I can test the clock, make sure it's going to function through all of its uh, cycles here. So thanks for, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, if you do me a favor, like this video, comment down below and subscribe. Have a good weekend. Welcome to the clock! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh no, this is recording, isn't it?